guess I really need to get on the good side of the UPS man. Here I am again, waiting for the UPS truck. I'm pretty much at a standstill. It says out for delivery today, so hopefully I'll get it soon. Looks like I'll be in, end up staying at the house tonight, though. It's already getting kind of late. You can hear the crickets chirping. What can you do? And I tried to talk the wife into going to Summit again, but a little far drive. So she said no. She said no. No more Summit racing. So I had to order the parts anyway. So what time is technically end of day? 7 o'clock? 8 o'clock? 10 o'clock? 11 o'clock? <laughs> it's still saying delivery today. End of day. But I don't see it yet. If this delivery shows up today, and this is in today, then this delivery driver tomorrow is going to be in bad shape. Like, really bad shape. Because it's going to be really late when he gets home tonight. Alright, so UPS came through. It was about 9.30 when they got here. Um, oh boy, it looked like he was dragging. It was really hot out outside today too. So I hate that uh, he had to work so late. That's probably his last stop. But um, I got it. So I'm fixing to go ahead and assemble these uh, bearings into the um, spacer bearings. So that's the part number of the activator I needed. Um, and this is the, the spacer bearing set. And then these are the king bearings that I'm gonna be, be using. So I'm uh, at the kitchen table, and you can see there's a, um, this is a project table. It's the kitchen table. Luckily, the wife doesn't beat me up too bad with uh, working on race car stuff in the house. Um, but the kitchen table, it seems like we very rarely eat here. We do eat here occasionally, but it's more of a project table. Um, she does paper bead rollers, and so she sells a bead rolling tool, and so she likes to bead roll as a, as a hobby. So she uses the table to bead roll. So if you guys have any wives that um, like the bead roll, check out my wife's YouTube channel and order some. And y'all think I'm joking, but look at the rest of the table. It's bead roller stuff. Okay, so here's the spacer bearings. I'm gonna clean these first. I've got my little scuff pad because I'm gonna scuff them up as well. So like I was saying earlier, these are the um, spacer bearings. All these are is 400 bearings. That's a thrust bearing. They cut the thrust off and then they, they cut a groove in it for the 350 bearing to snap in there. And the um, and some of them are offset in a different a different area, and like this one, they see these are it's kind of crude. I mean, it looks like I mean it'd be pretty easy to to make these myself, and I'm gonna try it next time. But so I'm gonna this is the reason I had to get this um, cleaning prime is because after I started researching it more, um, the Loctite. Um, the 680 Loctite, which I'm going to use, it will bond metal surfaces together. And this Babbitt material is considered a inactive metal or material. So I've got to scuff it up with the scuff pad and then I got to spray the uh, primer on it, activator to, to get it so that the um, Loctite will bond and adhere to this. Now the, the King Barons, these things are, of course, metal on the back, so I'm gonna still scuff those up on the back, but they'll snap right into the into the spacer band. And with a little bit of Loctite, my goal is to have it so that it doesn't spin out again. So we'll see what happens. Okay, so first I'm gonna just take in, I'm gonna take my scuff pad and scuff up this surface here, just to get it a little rough, so that the Loctite can have more of a surface to, to bond to. I'll get them glued together tonight, and then uh, tomorrow, or the next time I get to go work on the race car, it might not be tomorrow. We're supposed to race at Galat tomorrow night, having a 28 inch tire race. So if you guys are close, y'all need to come out to that. For the people that have been around for a while, y'all know that I'm very budget oriented. So that's how I'm using these spacer bearings. Um, 350 crankshaft with a, uh, 400 block so that's what these are having to do it is what it is got a nice crank and a nice block but they're not exactly compatible i guess okay. 
Oh, there's a big stop. I, they should have put that in top of the box instead of down in the bottom. I wonder what that says. Maybe I should have read this. I sell their lubricants. Well, that's pretty neat. Kind of worried me there for a second, though. Okay, so now I'm going to clean them with acetone. Cleaned up. So now I'm going to take these out into the garage because Kelly probably would not appreciate me spraying these in the house. Okay, so I've got the primer sprayed on the spacer bearings. And I'm going to clean the backs of these so that we can get a good adhesive seal, hopefully. Oh, I thought I had 680. I've got 640 for the Loctite. It's a high strength um, sleeve retainer, but it's also used for for like bearings. Yeah, tomorrow when I start to put it together, what I'll do is um, we'll, we'll, we'll put the bearings in it. Well, that bearing about jumped away from me. We'll put the bearings in it, uh, set the cranky in it, and then check clearance. I'm gonna just use regular old plastic gauge since I um, don't have all the bore gauges and stuff. Um, and if it looks like it's a little a little tight, then I'll take the crankshaft back to Richard and then we'll let Richard um, polish another couple thousandths off of it, depending on what it is. I think I'm gonna scuff these up with the scuff pad too and then re-clean them. see I mean it, it's fairly easy I mean to do it it's just a little time consuming it's just like a really thick bearing I mean it's just two pieces now made sure I had the you know the oil holes lined up so the oil will go in from the bottom and go up it'll be in the block um, so basically it's just like a real thick main bearing now hopefully but we're gonna see how um, how good this uh, green Loctite 640 bonds I found some old rod bearings in the in the garage and so what I did is um, I did them exactly like I did these. I prepped them, I scuffed them, I sprayed them with the primer, and then I stuck them together. And this stuff is supposed to cure to, I think it says fixture time in one hour, and then full cure in 24 hours. So sometime tomorrow, we're just going to let them sit here um, on the craft table. And uh, sometime tomorrow, um, I'm going to try to pull these apart and see if they come apart. They may or may not. Um, it'd be interesting to see. So it's been close to 24 hours with the Loctite setting up on the bearings. So I decided I was going to pull on the bearings to see how good they would stick. Well, it didn't really go as I planned. You see, this is the back of the metal. Um, I mean, I, I put some pressure on them for sure, but not a ton. And you can see all the Loctite, all the adhesive stuck to the back of the metal bearing. So that's what I was trying to eliminate. And there's a couple spots on, on the Babbitt material. You can see it stuck pretty good. Uh, but for the most part, it did not, even with using the additive. So I don't know if this is going to be a disaster or not. I mean, I guess worst case scenario, it can't be any worse than than what it was previously. I mean, the bearings, they still snap down in. So they have a good fit and the, the tang is, should be, you know, holding it from moving side to side and from, you know, rotating. But um, we'll see what happens. It may end up being a disaster, but hopefully not. I was hoping, I was honestly hoping I was gonna be able to do a video later with me taking a hammer and smacking the ever loving crap out of these things and it not coming apart. That would have been cool. That would have been exciting. There again, I only got a little bit on here, and it wasn't a real tight press fit. So, I mean, it was, you know, it was a little loose. It wasn't as good of a fit as the other one, and definitely not quite as much material, um, you know, in contact with the with the Loctite. So, we'll see what happens. Um, we're going to put it together. We're going to see uh, how it goes, 
and uh, we'll go from there. Please like, comment, share, subscribe, and hit that bell so you get the notifications. And see you next time. Go fast and get some wind lights.